Hello again, my name is Dr. Mosa Habari. I think there was a problem with my streaming before. There was no sound in it. How, how could it be? I don't know. But I started to record and stream this one again. It's 9.56, it's close to 10. That's, there is a reason behind everything. So sometimes you and I don't understand. But there is a reason for that. Okay, so topic today is burn the bridge. My name is Dr. Mosa Habari and I want to talk about get the past forget about the past totally T totally forget about the past I went to church three years ago almost three years more than three years I guess that, that's why the, the time is not important the time is not important at all I went to that church they put a name on their church disciples. That's ironic. Because there was no sign of in that church. Not at all. So be careful what name you put on your church. I don't know why there is so many self-serving and hypocrites in the church. Sometimes you have only one choice and only one choice to name your church. You can name it whatever you want, but select the name wisely. then you will not regret you choose unless your church will be closed and you get the chance you get the second chance i don't think you get the second chance god doesn't give you second chance to start your church again the church is closed like emmanuel church so god doesn't give you second chance to start a new church oh like generation eight their church is closed so i don't think so god give you second chance to start the church again and there is another thing that if your church registered by your name and somebody else come and get caught of the church so they can change the name of the church apart from these two your name stick with your church we don't have a church and that church emmanuel i was there i was eyewitness to problem that church had. They put their belonging into the locker and somebody messed up with the lock and they couldn't get that. And they had to the lock. I myself buy a new lock myself but anyway they kick him out of that church and i heard that he went to orthodox no problem god doesn't give you second chance to start a new church Yes, that first church that I was talking about. 
they bring a war which cause producing a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of self-serving Christian. There was a reason so many hypocrites are suffering in the church because they want to gather and they worship a man. Sometimes they worship the pastor of the church. Sometimes they worship another pastor in another church. The only thing they don't worship is God. They might say Jesus, Jesus, but the only thing of another man, not God, not Jesus. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to sing? Do you want to worship? What do you want? Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That is the word of God. Listen. It's not my word. It's the word of God. If you are in the church after long years of being Muslim, don't bring that to the church. A pastor, he called himself pastor, but I don't think he deserved that name. He told that I bring the system from Iran to the church. After being a long, long year being Muslim, don't system to the church. Period. Stop God, stop manipulating. Stop telling lies. Stop gossiping. It's up to you. I can show you the right way. Because some people told me that they had the false teaching all along. And they hear the true gospel of Jesus Christ. So if you want true gospel of Jesus Christ, hear it from me. Forget all about those false teachings. Somebody in the TV said, Oh, think positive, think negative. No, that's so wrong. Think only positive. Don't listen. Don't listen to those false teachers in the TV ministry. Think only positive. I was myself on the edge of deception. But I wake up. I want those deception and I know the truth now. I was on the edge of deception. I can testify that. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. Move forward. If you want to move forward, don't carry the backpack of your past. If you want to move forward, if you want to grow, don't look even back. Don't look back over your shoulder. Example of this is Lot and his wife. God told Lot that take your family and run. If you see somebody run, maybe God told him to run. Then Lot's wife looked back. And what happened? She turned to statue of salt. Don't be like Lot wife. But again, it's up to you. If you like a statue, if you want to bring statue in church, so I don't have anything to say to you. But be careful of your destiny. Okay, so 
What else can I say? It's so obvious that sometimes where you think you are going to write, this is the word of God, is the word of God, the very word of God. You think your way is right, but the way you're heading is going to hell, going to fire. Sometimes God sent fire to destroy the city. So, careful. If you don't go forward, if you stuck in your past, in your mind, even in your mind, then you will not be able to test and approve what God will do. If you go forward, if you go forward, then you will be able to test and approve what God will is. He's a perfect will. That's so true. Unless you don't go forward, if you think about the past. If you sit, even if you sit, if you don't move, then you cannot find out God's will. The only way is finding the God's will is move forward. Not going back, not stay still. If you stay still and sit, then you will not be able to find God's will. The only way to find God's will, perfect will of God, is move forward. Guys, listen. You guys don't understand what important it is to not look back. Don't need, don't think negative. Think only positive. Forget about all those things. Even you trust it. Forget about those false teaching because not be successful with false teaching. If you think negative, you will be not be successful. Those false teaching begin to destroy you. Those false teaching belongs to the garbage. So don't listen listen to false teaching. Whatever it is in TV ministry or whatever. Change your radio station from false message to the hope message. So just change the radio station. And change your focus from New York to Jerusalem. That's another change you can make to help you grow. God's will. And another thing that I want to talk about is for any immigrant, if you are an immigrant, you can understand me well. I was talking with a girl yesterday or two days ago. I don't remember exactly. She was afraid. I told her, immigration is hard. Nobody said it's easy. Immigration is hard. If you want to come here on to Canada, it is hard. But you have to be ready to face the challenges. Home basic is fine to everybody. But if you stay and don't go back, then you will be able to build the success. Even if to start from scratch start from zero you have to do it if you don't step out of the belt like peter if you don't take a leap of faith out of the belt then you will not find out don't look at your surrounding don't look at the storms Just take a leap of faith Another example that I want to close with is the couple. If you are in a new relationship, you broke up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. And 
you ha start a new relationship, then you are talking to new one and you're talking to your ex. Your ex may be happy that you are thinking about her, but you are stuck between two persons. Your relationship is not gonna work. Don't even look back. Go forward. If you talk to your ex every day, then nothing gonna work out. So every aspect of the life is move forward. Don't think back. Don't look back. But be with you all.